Right, number two of uh, what we call the Pope Mobiles. And this one's done an incredibly low, has, sorry, an incredibly low myelometer reading, which we'll come to in a minute, which, um, which could well be right, because look how clean it is underneath here. It is absolutely super clean underneath here. Still got the original stickers on here and there. Look at that, that is dead, dead straight there. And look at that little overhead valve. Super clean. Super, super clean. Right, I'll put this down and we'll move on to the inside. Now, I think it was, did I jump out of it? I think it said 2,000 miles. 1,660. Could be right, guys. Do a little bit of own work history on the MOT and see what you think but it's still got plenty of grain on there gear sticks as new nowhere on the rubbers nowhere on the seat nowhere on the door cards but please do a little bit of homework i haven't spoken to the owner of this so i don't know much in the way of background on it i'm afraid but whatever it is it is it's clear to see that the little vehicle is a genuine very very low mileage whether it's uh 1600 or whatever i don't know but look all the clips door rubbers look at the back door the back door is brand new look at that so let's face it it hasn't done a lot of work this is it all shiny that hasn't had a lot of work either look and the rubber inside slightly different configuration in this one uh, the other one has two forward facing rear seats. This one's got an inward facing rear seat as you can see on that side Still got your straps and all that there for either your uh, Wheelchair or your classic motorbike, which would be absolutely perfect in there Now I've got the pump working You can hear it go in there as far as pumping up but that was that was after I was playing around with the buttons. Obviously sticky, the connections in there obviously are dirty. Um, I've been playing and playing and playing around with it for the release. Now, if it's anything like a tower lift on the back of a truck, they're not powered down, they're only powered up. So all the button does is release the valve in the fluid. The fluid then drains out and allows it to come down. So what I'm getting is getting at is the good bit is the pump's working to pump it back up again. So for whatever reason, the valve isn't releasing it down. So I'm sure that's going to be something stupid, probably down to the fact that it's had very, very little in the way of use. But look, all the door shuts, door cards, all in keeping with that. Clean as a pin inside. And this one doesn't require any paint. This one is dead straight outside. Look at that. Lovely and clean. And even down to, look all the, look the back lights in there, all like new. Still got the gold covering on the steel works there. Spare jack, jack and wheel brace in there. I haven't looked underneath it. Let's have a quick look underneath. Yeah, that's all in keeping, isn't it? From what I can see. Anyhow, you're going to have to come down and have a look at both of them, aren't you, if you're interested. Do a little bit of homework on the MOT history on this one. All we've got, I think, is a V5 document for this. No more. But this one doesn't require any paint. It's as clean as a whistle inside. I'd hate to think what the cost of one of these would be new now for the purpose of uh, the wheelchair transport. You're not going to get a lot of money out of probably, I don't know, what are you going to get? 25, 30 grand, I suppose, for a, a newish one of these now, I would think, with the conversion. So it could be the buy of the century, this one, guys. I'll do some more photographs for you.